Ooh, I know. Yeah, the countdown's done, Matt. You weren't here to switch. Matt. Matt. Countdown. All right. Going to channel my inner Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. Oh, man, you got a, you got way too much excitement in your voice for McConaughey. Right. Just remember, he's just he's just this laid back, chill guy. He just kind of sits right. here and he's he like, likes, he likes to drive the Lincoln. You know, I like to think about opening these Keldheim packs and just driving around Mount Lincoln. You know, I think about how much the prices are really affected right now, and but I just still sit here and think things are gonna be all right, all right, all right. Because right. yeah, I'm rich. That there. The best part is he missed most of that. Crash and burn. We're crashing and burning. Like always, everybody's used to this. It is we're that we're that dog meme where he's sitting in the desk and everything's on fire around him. This is this is fine. You know you look like that dog. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I admit that. Am I am I opening the box now? No, he's gotta get the camera angle just right. Okay, I think that's looking good. Okay. All right, All right open that shit. Broheim. Hold on, hold on. Before we do, clearly we gotta do some introductions here. Oh so people, yeah, I suppose. I yes, suppose. People yes, gotta you know. Close that who back we up. Are. Oh, yeah. Close yeah, that back uh, up. Sorry, sir. sorry. Yep. We jumped the gun. We, we jumped. We teased. The that gun. was a little tease. That was a little tease. Oh. That was a big tease. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. See what you did there. Getting hot around the collar here. <laughs> Ooh. Hello, magic folk. Welcome to this week in MTG. Uh, we talk news, but sometimes we open we open booster packs. Yeah, buddy. And yep. tonight, we have a very special guest with us. We have the return of Big G. Nice. Hey. Happy to be back. He's back, and he's opening a Keldheim pack. Well, not a pack, a box. Box. D opening more than one pack. Just notice Hopefully. That that's backwards. Yeah. No, no. Pack. We got this whole box. We're just going to open one pack. That's it. We, we, hey, we led you on for 15 minutes. and <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> Uh, messing up some things. Sorry there, folks. Crash and burn. But wait, uh, who are you two? Then the other voice that you're hearing, that's not Big G. That was introduced a minute ago. That's JB, the Janky Boggle. Woohoo! And, yeah, we're this week in MTG. <laughs> I don't know what else you want. Man, you're, you, you, really, you, you really get off when this isn't a scripted episode, don't you? Uh, I'm very bad at <laughs> yeah, off-the-cuff <laughs> stuff. Yes, he is. Wasn't he giving you shit the last time I was here about not being good at off-the-cuff stuff? I think so. Maybe. Yeah. I was know. I? There's a good I, chance I was making maybe. fun of JB. Matt, Matt likes lie. to talk shit and not back it up. Oh, I back it up. <laughs> because who's, who's the one that still set this up? Well, all you had to do was hit a button like, go live, change the screen. It's not my job, sir. I'm just the co-host here for the witty banter. I'm still waiting for the witty banter. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at this guy. Zingers. Hey, oh. That's why they bring Shots. me back, folks. Shots bring fired. me back. Apparently, I gave enough of singers the first round. <laughs> right. I'm back for a second. We have Demus in the chat asking if this is the pack he won. No. No, it's not. Is it the pack he won? But no. Uh, Demus, yeah, we'll, we'll figure says, it out. The, the drawing is happening on Monday live. Uh, I can grab I can grab the card and the pack so y'all can see. Yeah, so you can yeah. See it. Here. We'll Might as well. Let's do that. Well, yeah. Do that. Tease give, it. Give the, give the Patreon pitch there. Oh. <sighs> Okay, so, yes, we have a Patreon. <laughs> we have a bunch of different tiers. Each of them will ent enter you in a certain sort of giveaway. I can't remember what the numbers are now. Damn I think it. it's 3 and 10, isn't it? Yeah, that's the only 3 and 10. That's the only one we have? I yeah, thought we had another one. Okay, so, yeah, if we got 3 and 10. $3 one will get you in for a drawing for a booster pack. Yep. Uh, the $10 tier will get you into a monthly drawing for a card roughly around that $20, $25 value. Uh, plus, it also enters you into the booster pack drawing, too, so a trickle-down trickle effect. Ooh, look at that. It's even a set booster. Yeah, I, I went out. I got the set Ooh, booster. Ooh, yes. Ooh. So, yes, here's here's the uh, the $10 tier is the card, correct? And then yes. $3 tier, so there's, there's your pack. Wrong. That's what you can win. Infernal Tutor. Yes. Is one. Judge Promo. Picked Infernal up. Tutor. That is that's good. have to post bad reviews. <laughs> hey, man, a review's a review. We'll accept it either way. Right? 
You ever heard the term good news is bad news? Yes. Or no, bad, wait, bad news, news is, is good news. news. Yes. Yeah. All news is good news. <laughs> publicity <laughs> is publicity. <laughs> yep. Give it to us, Demus. <laughs> Man, now I'm on the receiving end of JB's dad. Yes, yeah. bantering. Yeah, yes. You're, you're now in this, this, man. This isn't as much fun when I get to sit and banter with him <laughs> on the chat. <laughs> you <can do> <laughs> right? You could do it right now. There's just a little bit of a delay. Yeah, there's just a 10 second delay. <laughs> yeah, there's just no 10 seconds. Deal. You're good. Well, All either right. way, I'm, so, st- I'm still waiting to see some of these cookies show up. I heard about on Monday. <gasps> oh, that's right. Yeah, I haven't heard anything. The audacity, right? Jeez. The audacity dangled cookies in front of my face and then not say anything. Okay. Well, it looks like we have Big G here, very eager to open his box. This has been sitting here since open or since release, man. Yeah, that's it's been a while. He's been wanting to do this and here we are. It's been a hot minute. We got we got these awesome booster packs. We got sleeves and stuff here. I'll grab a I'll grab a box of sleeves so you can sleeve some, some stuff right away. Some of the nicer ones? Right. Well, cool. Well, we'll still get to the first one. God, I love your optimism, Matt. Like, I, I love how you think he's going to get nice cards in this box. Hey, hey. We've seen your <laughs> luck with stuff. I don't know if they've seen my luck yet. Right? My luck is shit. All right, so how did you guys do this? Did you just skip over, like, the commons and uncommons and just get to the goods, or? I don't know. We like read over this. How, okay. how, okay. However you want to do it, sir. It's your box. Well. You're, the, you're in charge. I'm yep. in charge. I don't know. You're in charge of how you want this is This is way too much power. Well, we'll just, you know, we'll scroll through a little bit. Hey, there we go. Ooh, Battlefield Raptor. Good stuff. One of those nice nice lands. Oh, I dig the I'm digging the snow lands in right? this set. I wish they were full full art though. I really like when they do the full art. Right, but that's more of like a Zendikar thing. Yeah. So there we go. First rare. Ooh, first non foil. Yep. Which one's that? Uh, the betrayal. Ooh. So there's yeah. one. Hey. hey, that is a card I will trade you for my very Oh, and so is that other one. Ooh, uh, the Draugr, the Ice Draugr. What is the name of that one again? Draugr Necromancer. Necromancer. There we go. Draugr Necromancer. Oh, and the Rise Poison the Guy. Oh. Man, I just look at that and the Showcase yep, art. I just pulled the Showcase out of a set booster I picked up today. There we go. There we go. Friend of the friend of the show, oh, Zach, oh. got me a playset of uh, Finn the Fang Bear. Nice. I he got, would. What? Why go. does he need to to enable here, your poison and here we infect? Go. Here we go. Because some people love me. Yeah, that's debatable. Yorn, <laughs> God of the Winter. Heck yeah. Nice. Good pulls. Oh, and Ooh. I will take that foil, Nar- Look Narfi. That. Look at that. Narfi and his betrayal. Yeah. Right? No, that pack that? is big G. Crippling we gotta, fear. We got to talk about some trades here. Yeah, we'll talk, right? we'll talk business. Yeah. I brought then, my trade binder, too. And then so. I got, uh, I got I my got trade binder here got, as well. Well, I didn't bring trades. Uh, all I have is what's in front of me. Exactly. That's exactly. good enough. Exactly. You're going to get a lot of things. <laughs> right? All right. Pack numero dos. Pack numero dos. Pretty, pretty good so far. I mean, uh, it extended art, f- uh, Rise of the Dread Marin. And then Crippling t- Fear Foil. Yeah. Right. Extended. Like this, this is the pack that is made for me. Like that pack is stacked for Matt. We'll just go over these. They're so shiny. Commons, uncommons. All the Pringles. Yeah, if you, want to, if you want to highlight a card specifically, you can hold it up to the camera. The camera auto focuses and stuff. Oh, perfect. Good yeah. to know. Good to know. That way. And also people. Oh, runes, dude. So oh, yeah. I got a. I want to take go. I want to take a uh, a side note. I'm working on a Thrax Mundar deck. You okay. would, yeah, all dude. Right. Uh, Voltron. Uh, here, here's a here's a pitch. Follow us on Moxfield. We have all of our deck lists up there that we always brainstorm. But I have a Thrax Mundar de- deck called Thrax Attack. That's Thrax Mundar Jund, and I got the runes in there. You mean Grixis? He's yes, not Jund, Grixis. He's yeah, Grixis. Grixis. Uh, I got. Uh, I wanted to get it. The, the runes in there because so I have. What you're saying is you want a you want a shiny rune. I would be down for a shiny rune. There you go. All right. That's that sounds like an interesting deck. I'm, the runes are I'm solid. Interested. Yeah, we'll have to. Sh- I'll show it. I'll yeah, show it to you yeah, later. Yeah, some, Maybe some. that'll be a deck that we do on a hypothesis episode. Ooh, Maybe. There we go. Tales did of I li- ancestry. I did leave the hypothesis. Uh, nice n- cosmos elixir, dude. Yeah, cosmos nice. elixir is a good card. This is a card that not only Ooh, is going to be solid showdown in especially solid in EDH. It's just. Oh, nice. Does that not make you think of Star Wars? A little bit, yeah. Forge? With all the old posters they did? Yeah. <laughs> Cookies equal free cards? Demus, you're speaking to my soul right now. Right? I got a whole stack right here. <laughs> I got. I do a lot of stupid stuff for baked goods. Yes. <laughs> all right. Rel, a Realm Eater. Showcase. Ooh. Dig it. Ooh. I have, 
a foil fin. Oh, oh yeah. A no oh, snap. To double. And then I got the chariot. Oh, that's a chariot. Oh, no, that's a okay. nice chariot. I got to figure out how to do this right with foil because it right. gives the glare. All the shine. Right. And then there's the dragon that you yep. can get off of the, the boast. Or a human warrior. The, the bo it's, it's the dwarf that boasts that makes the dragon token, correct? Yep. Yes, I believe Kay. so. Yeah, for like four red red, and I think it's boast gets reduced. Yeah, yeah so. for each dragon. Sure. All right, let's see. Live search. We've got some. While he's live searching, I'll get through these commons, uncommons. Some Ooh, mammoth growth. Oh, raven right, form. So. Oh, there we go. Some elves. That's what I'm talking about right there. There we go. Dragonkin Berserker is the one that I was talking about. Red 1, 2, 2, Human Berserker. First strike, boast abilities. You activate cost one less to activate for each dragon you control, and boast is four in a red. Hey, you, you get a 5-5 five, five dragon. You need a ruined crown? I do need a ruined crown for that Thrax Mundar deck. Just apparently setting a start setting start cards for you. Hey, there we go. There Jason. we go. Hey, hey, if, if you want... I mean, it's it's nothing special. All I'm using is is a camera stand. Fun fact: I found that camera stand in a dump. I, I work as a garbage man. I should probably clarify that here. I <laughs> no, he dumpster dives for a living. I dumpster <laughs> dive for a living. But no, this was uh, this is by a dumpster that that we dumped for an apartment complex. And I'm like, this thing still works. Why did someone throw this away? And it holds everything I need it to hold. There we go. The like, phone or the stand? The phone. Both. The phone. He found the phone in the dumpster. Yes. Hell yeah. Good for you, man. I did not find the phone on the dumpster. I bought that one. <laughs> it smells a little funky sometimes Ooh. when you're on long phone calls. But... Nice. All Runs Epiphany. That Ooh, is a card that boy. has been showing up in standard Sultai uh, emergent decks. It's one of the options that they pick, and if you and if the opponent puts that into a pile... Oh, Cosmoa. Oh, no, no that's... All Cosmos. Runs. God of the Cosmos Witch. Boom! Flips over to a Whispering Raven. Oh, Very no. nice. Hey. hey, a foil elixir. Foil extended art. That's yeah, good. Hey, hey, when you when you got prices of cards, just let me know, and I'll look them up here if you're curious on things, because there has to be some good price, you know, good money say, in some of this I stuff. I would say already. the Epiphany and the God. Let's see, uh, let's see what they're. Uh, that are. all runs really not that much. Really? Um, yeah, surprisingly, all run that. tanked. I got rid of my foil regular all run, and that was more than the showcase one. I kept the showcase one just because it looked cool. Yeah. It doesn't have a price for an extended art. Well, it's not extended. It's just regular. Oh, that's just the regular one? Yeah, regular. The all run? Yeah, yeah, it's just regular. the showcase. Oh, okay, okay. All run is uh, 652, the all run's Epiphany. I mean, not bad. Right? I mean, it's an extra turn that's going to be seeing play, and it's on an upward trend. Uh, to those listening, we're using MTG stocks as the price point checker. Then all run. Ooh, is that a spectral steal? Yes. Set that aside. Set that aside. Same with if you get any Kaya's onslaughts. Here, let me just. I think we're doing a flip it or rip it on the. No, no, we're not. No, 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 no. First off, I need that for boggles. Does sir. it does it matter if he does flip it or rip it? This is his pack. Like if just as long as you don't rip that one or Kaya's onslaught, we'll be fine. <laughs> the is that is that all run foil? No, 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 just no it's just a showcase. Showcase is three dollars ten cents oh, market price. Well then. Average price is around three twenty nine, so it's it's pretty stable right now. Bad. Right, but all run is probably oh. one of the weaker gods in the set because you know it's like it's very mechanic dependent. Right, yeah, and that and makes sense. But hey, this will look nice in my elf deck, and by elf deck I mean my commander elf deck. Nice, that. Queen Boggle. Yes, that is the mat that JB got for Christmas. Yeah, we're using it. We figured it'd be. Is a that good who I think it is? Queen Boggle. Yeah, I'm assuming that's your wife. Ah! <laughs> no, I gotta watch myself. Glorious JB, protector. Behave. Oh, there we go. Oh, dude. Nice. World Tree foil. That. Boom, boom, I'll, boom. I'll be honest with you. I'm a little sad. Have Have you seen the foils? How like how they curl really quickly and stuff. Yeah, my Kaldheim foils are a little curly too. Yeah. So at J Dubs, they have a whole box of their Keldheim stuff that you can look through, mm -hmm. and one whole side of it is fo foils, Ooh, and it is just one? straight up curled the like a mofo. Step pathway. The pathway. Yeah. Uh, seer step pathway. Yeah. And a spirit, a spirit, and some treasure. If you if you get an extended uh, extended art world tree that's not foil, I get people complaining about the amount of bitching I have heard over this. I mean, is, yeah. It's just dumb. 
because you can. You, here we go. I'll do it with one of the comments. Ready? Okay. So the foil, the fold's that bad. Oh wait. Eh, there we go. It's that bad. Just bend it the other way a little. Don't bend it so it goes in half. Yeah. Don't crease it. So uh, Josh was showing me a picture of a person who opened up uh, a bunch of different foils and yep. different sleeving processes that happened to them. Like when they got open, they had one. They had a foil from Keldheim that wasn't in a sleeve, one that it was in a perfect fit, one that was in a perfect fit and a, an ultra pro sleeve, and then one that was in a, a perfect fit and a hard sleeve. Yeah. And you could see the curling like diminishing with the uh, like going up harder cases and stuff. Mm -hmm. Five mana draw. Draw three cards. Is that Redain? That's Redain. Nice. Showcase. Nice. Dibs if you don't want it. We'll talk. This is this is actually not just a booster box opening. This is Attack of the Vultures. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Just like, just like when we open our uh, oh, Time Spiral box from, from Josh, it's going to be Attack oh, of the Vultures. Oh, Tybalt's Trickery and a Tybalt Emblem. Is this foretelling something oh, to come? Ooh. All I got to say is I wish this was like, you know, a month ago, right? Jesus. Well, let's see what uh. I got, what is I got rid of mine. Trickery? What is like, that one sitting at now? Right. I I unloaded mine that I opened <laughs> before the ban. I got my money out of it. That would have been the smart, I was smart move. Yeah. Uh, foil, the normal one. The extended is a foil is eight bucks. Hey, that's there. That's not right. Bad. That's about what I got rid of my normal one. Trade when I got rid of it, and it was about. Six eight bucks. Hey Wade, so far you're seeing everything good. The first pack was a pack that was like a love letter to Matt. It had zombies and everything in there for me, and a fin, a fin fang bear, fin fang foo. And yeah, right now just showing all these awesome cards. Hey, nice. Right? We got that Valkyrie. uh that's the Valkyrie a, that JB loves. There, there it we is. go. There's the boot the, the boast one. Another a new I've no. gotten three chariots now. Nice. Oh, maybe nice. I'll take the non foil Narfi from you there. That one. The non Pringle version. Yeah, the non Pringle. There's Ooh. the Kasima. All form. There we go. All, oh, that's the old form? Yeah. Orvar. That's or Orvar. Dude. Orvar? That as a I deck. Dig that. Have you seen those like uh, for the last couple weeks on MTG stocks, Ooh, there have been cards that have been moving it. up in price due to Orvar decks in EDH um, and, and stuff like that. It's Ascendant spirit. bonkers because Ooh. Orvar essentially allows you to ramp if you have like something that changes the color of a permanent, like Trait Doctoring or Volrath's Whim or whatever that one is as well, yeah. and then makes a copy of that land. For one mana, you make a copy of a land. <laughs> Essentially. And then there's clearly a bunch of ways to buy back those one-drop spells in Mono Blue. No. Mono so Blue? No yeah, dude. It's, it is Bonkers deck. Yeah, people are, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's like the fourth most popular legendary from Keldheim on EDH Rec. I mean, I'd believe it. It's a it's a Bonkers card. Right, uh, the, 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 the Cyclonic Rift Giant. That one's good. Oh, there's an angel for JB. Right oh. here, Anticator Valkyrie. And the stalker, the uh the vampire dragon. This thing is bonkers. Yeah, I'm digging. You you can never you can never uh mitigate the fact of a free sack outlet that makes itself indestructible. Board wipe, sack one of the creatures to make it indestructible. Oh uh, oh dude, that Ber is that Bergy or what is the name of that? Yeah, that's Bergy. That's Bergy. God of storytelling. How do you spell Bergy? B I R B I A R B I R G I. Cyclone Summoner. Wow, really? Bergy is only. It's one of the cheaper 66? ones. Sixty-six. Mm -hmm. yep. I don't know how. Bergy is like Storm Central right there. Because everything's getting opened in insane yeah. amounts, and the I market mean, is being flooded. I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. Oh, look at that! Nice. Nice dual snow land right away. Oh, we have a question from D Moose. So serious beginner question. Can you explain what the pack is, how many cards, average cost, and what variables are the cards between sets? Do they belong to any base packs? Okay, so the the packs that we got Big G opening up tonight are uh, Keldheim Collector Boosters. This is One, Wizards High End booster packs that are just stock full of Shut you know up. the quote unquote good well, I was more so uh, fancy cards. Who wanted the, who wanted the breakdown? 
that's why you see all these foils. And, a nor- and there's two other draft packs. This is Wizard's way to expand out to like try and have different packs that appeal to different consumers of their product. Like the whales. Uh, collector boosters are typically referred to ones for the whales want uh, whales want um and yeah they just have these alternate versions uh different ways for you to make your deck stand out with these alternative arts these showcase borders like big g just open up here there is a card herald king of the elves or skadfar there's a normal version that doesn't have that fancy uh, Kelheim border art. It's uh, th- th- those alternative it. borders are kind of like more rare to to find, but in a collector booster, there you're guaranteed a showcase border in there, but not guaranteed whatever right. rarity and stuff. The the collector boosters are honestly they're they're worth the money. Most of the time they are. Yeah, yeah. most yeah, of you're, the time. I mean, you're you're getting a good good amount of stuff in them. Yeah. Though, I may if I if I'm I'll, I'll bring up an argument yeah, here in a little bit. We're going to cover more of these questions. So, average cost of a collector booster. What? Oh, oh, oh. It's foil. sorry to interrupt. It's foil. It's foil. It's foil. No, no, no. Let's put it. Look in at the that comus coil right there. Let's, yeah, let's, look at that comus coil. Let's, let's put it in the piles. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm supposed to put this in a pile. Yes. I did put no, it in a pile. In the other pile. <laughs> this pile right here. In the other pile. <laughs> But yeah, Demus, this is um, this whole box. Um, each one of these packs goes for about twenty bucks. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, so these ones are the, the price you're in, yeah. as JB said. Um, one one pack, twenty one bucks. Pack. Yep. Yep. Um, but the big thing is, like most of the time in a regular pack, you will not get all foils, which yes, right, which is a nice thing for a lot of players. We want to we want to bling out our decks the mm-hmm. hope is to bling out their yeah. decks without yes. it curling yeah so yes. if you want to show that set booster right there yep. so a set booster is another one of the boosters and that booster is the same price as a draft booster so yep. a draft booster is for the the format draft now okay so if here, you hold on let me let me let me grab a draft booster here yeah i, I got draft boosters everywhere just grab one of those so here we go well, that's we a well, this one will be a little bit different because well, it's, yeah, but it's the a draft concept. Booster, yeah, the so. concept is the same. Yes. So, the the middle pack is a set booster, and those are, um, I think I think Watsi's official wording that they use is like their love letter to the set. Yeah. Of yep. uh, they they cure they kind of curate each section like the they they have a a diagram of how the packs are laid out and what you can get into there, and there are. A, a kind of a story between different sections to tell like all the cards will be on a theme like they're going to be white flyers in the the first half and then the back half there's going to be a couple uh uncommons that link together like a mm-hmm. boast and another boast and then you're going to get rares and then there's other good stuff that they put in there the uh, the set boosters are tailored more towards people who like to just open packs for fun yeah. c- correct whereas yep. your draft packs are yes you can open them for fun but they're more tailored towards the drafting format right and uh demus the drafting format is a format where you buy three draft booster packs and you sit at a table with seven other players you open up the first boot everybody want, opens up a booster pack i want pack. this one yep and you pick you yep you pick the you card pass. you pass the card everybody passes their pack to the left or, or to the right and I you do that until one. the pack is all gone and then you make a deck out of those three booster packs. So it's a 40-card deck and stuff. And it's it's more of a way to, like, flex your ability to use deck the build. tools. Yeah, use the things that you get. Like, you can't just go out and buy all uh-huh. these bomb cards to stack your deck with. And, uh, Did you say flex? Yes. Okay. You see my beach ball? It's about this big. This round. Yeah. Could be over there. And... Uh, Oh, uh, difference in pack numbers now as well. In yep. draft packs, there are 15 cards. Yep. So this set. this one's a misleader because this is a different type of draft booster. But yeah, yes. for Commander Legends. Yep. Yep. Set but, boosters have 12 cards. But yep. you have a better chance of getting yes. more higher than one rare. rares. Yeah, higher yes. rarities. And that's another thing. Is like each, each pack has different drop rates, pull rates of rarities. Like that's one thing about rarities. It's like, you know... How, how often you're going to find yep. a rare, a mythic rare in a pack. And in set boosters, the chances are increased can, slightly yes. more than in a draft booster. You can get up to four rares or mythics in a single set booster. Which is crazy because you're really only guaranteed, Ooh. what, one in a draft? Like... A rare? Yeah. 
of one to two, but that two being would be in the foil spot. spot yes. Yeah. Oh, dude, old, old Growth Troll. That card is going to be going places. Have you read what that card does? Yes. Right. It is nutters. What I'm excited for is this. Foil Nexus Treat. Not, uh, yes. Mass Wood, Wood Nexus. Nexus. Right. I've, I've been uh, thinking about brewing oh, around I've, that. I have may, tribal decks for that to go in. That, right. That card, may I? May you put that in my pile? That's going to go in Thrax Mundar there because it goads. Ooh, baby. Egon? Egon. Yeah. He Look gone. at that. He gone. I got a single one for my Cathril deck. Ooh, uh, search for glory. Okay. So, Demus, right. did we did we explain anything? Is there any other questions with that specifically that you uh, you want us to try and elaborate on? I don't know. Did we do a good job, you think, uh, initially? I mean, I feel like we can. The best thing we can do as people who play magic a little bit more is explain and then if people have questions we can go okay yep i missed that part sorry about right that. exactly right right but yeah i mean we talked about the three the three basic right. yeah, packs. Th- this this is now watsy's way of going forward to be giving out packs and honestly i think it's a great way first off right like, it, it, it it has things that are for different level players like draft packs are for people that just want to like play draft because draft drafting limited is a fun format to play right what, what's that like i haven't done it in ages right jesus <sighs> yeah can't wait to do that got, in person again i got right? so many draft coins and gold saved up on arena I, I i've been talking about it the last two weeks i just need to sit down on a thursday or friday and stream me drafting for a couple hours but yeah i don't know i i don't know what about you guys but i definitely have shifted a little bit more to like just my openings like I dig the sets. Yes, the set, yeah. yes. Set boosters. The sets are like my thing now. Like I love Ooh, set boosters. Yeah. Search of greatness. Set boosters are the way to go if you're not drafting, and I think that's right. exactly the way to do it. Like the value that you get out of them is better than a draft booster because you get the higher chance to get more rares, and that's one of the things of people who just like to open packs. Like a set booster is not just made for a person who likes to open packs but they're made for you know the the edh player that's just like i'm gonna buy a bunch of packs and get these cards so that way i can tune up my decks with just these cards without buying singles though you know buying singles is definitely one of the best ways to do it because then you get the cards at discounted price than just buying a bunch of boosters but that's a topic Eh, maybe that could be a topic for later in the night or whatever but yeah set boosters are definitely the way to go if you just want to like buy a pack for the best value another pathway nice nicely done Another pathway. And then collector boosters, you know, just a way to, like, extremely bling out your deck. And that brings me to what I was actually going to talk about, where I was like, well, I'll hold on to that. The um, the foils. Foils, because of these draft boosters, are beginning. Yeah. Or collector boosters. Uh, collector boosters, yeah. Double packs. Nice. Right. No, that's one, one nice thing I like about the collector booster, especially... JB from kiss. a person kiss it it's the last ah. one it's la- oh wait oh no i shouldn't have it's had gonna you be a valky shouldn't have had you do that yep. hey jb phyrexian phyrexian Brinklex. jb it's in there jb yes. we made it on the big screen again tonight Ooh, yeah <laughs> no Halo like the, the one the one thing i do like about collector's boosters even though i don't buy them because they're just insanely expensive um in my eyes is that they they help lower the price of foils yes. because there's so many foils. They flood the market with foils, so yeah. it, it makes it a lot more accessible to other players. That whole pile is just foils. Hey, and hey, that goes in my pile. T- typically, Sorry, foils would have like <laughs> a, a 2 or 3x premium on top of them. Right. Well, some of the times. Uh, other times, like you could get foils like pretty close to the same price, but that was back in the day. But now, hey, foils going yeah. forward. I'll take it. Foils going forward are going to be super cheap. There's a Cosima. I want a foil old growth troll. Oh, I'll take this. Nice. Hey, I'll dig it. Nice. Is that a foil emblem? It's a foil emblem. Yeah. Fucking right. And it's treasure. It's right? Like it's meant to be. Nice. Look at that. All right. Well, I dig that. Right? I got one of those in my set box, too. I dig it. I think it, it, Didn't that come in the same pack as the Tybalt that I got? I think so. You took a picture, didn't you? It was like the very first pack. It was when there wasn't audio on the stream. Okay. Jeez, I can't remember. We'll have to. Right, we'll, it was we'll crazy. Check, we'll check out the YouTube for that. You, the YouTube's, the YouTube's. Yeah, that's Starnham Spire. Yeah, that's uh, Starnham Unleashed. It's looking yeah. really good in my pile. No, well, it looks good <laughs> in my pile, sir. 
Calm down, Vulture. Right? No, no. What I'm really going to be vulturing is that box we opened for Josh. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're listening right now or watch the YouTube video, I guess, a little bit later, uh, ne- let's see. A couple days before Time Spiral Remastered drops, and it drops the 19th, so probably Wednesday the 17th or Thursday the 18th, we are getting a box from J-Dubs to, uh, to open up on stream for y'all to watch and, and see again. Cause I don't know about I don't know about you guys. Like if you guys don't like watching this video, these videos, let us know. We appreciate the feedback, but I think we're still gonna make them either way. <laughs> Cause we like <laughs> we like making them. Like, I mean, I know I like making them. Like, Big G has been sitting here on this box since Kelheim came out just to stream it for y'all. Like right? the dedication to not have itchy fingers. Oh my goodness, it was hard, guys. <laughs> right. <laughs> Cause I just I like opening packs, right? So do I. Like I applaud you for waiting as long as you did. I that's why I can't believe that Matt I, has this giant wall of sealed boxes. Like I, well, oh. remember one of those boxes is mine. It was every time I every time I come here and I look at those, I just start itching. Like I just, I just want to rip. I just want to rip. Flip it or rip it? Yes. It's like when Mrs. Boggle comes here, and I, because I still got that tape on my TV. <laughs> yes, it's like that. So, <laughs> honey, if you're listening, now you understand what I go through. You still have the tape on your TV. Yeah, like on the corner. Yeah, and stuff. he does. Jeez, really? How? How is that still on there? Because he slaps Rachel's hand every time she's here. Yep. Honestly, right now it's just a meme to keep it going. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> trying to see if I... Uh, no. Uh, no, Mrs. Boggle, you cannot take the tape off. Can I take the tape off? Th- no, you cannot take the tape off. Hey, I need to go grab a beer. I'll be right back. Hey, you want to grab me one, too? I was just going to go rip the tape off the corner. <laughs> oh, ooh, you <laughs> sneaky little bastard. How did you not know that? <laughs> because I'm short, okay? <laughs> Things really do go I legitly <laughs> thought he was just needing to go grab a beer. <laughs> Okay, I don't, I, I don't automatically assume people have ulterior motives. <laughs> Mrs. Bob was like, downfall. I swear to God, if you let him do it and not me, I'll cry. <laughs> oh yeah, she'll, she'll, she'll beat your ass. Would it be my ass or would it be Big G's ass? Because Big G's the one that did it. It would be yours for letting it happen. Yeah. I like think... I have control over that. You do. If he gets close to the TV to start doing stuff, I'm not going to try and tackle him away from it because then the TV could probably get hurt in the outcome of that. See, that's a smart move. But there, it's but... got the protective tape on it, so it'll be fine. <laughs> Not if he's ripping it off. <laughs> it's a catch-22 there. I'm fucked either way. Are you? Are you really? Pretty sure. <sighs> all right, all right. There are your runes. There's your pile. There's your pile to start. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, because I, I need to... I, need I grabbed to f- all the runes I could. Find. I need to foil out my boggle deck, so... And these Ooh, are in the there. foily boggle deck. Mm-hmm. Want to do a live update for people who probably don't know or don't care about your Mana Traders event right yeah. now? Cause oh, you, yeah. Because you haven't posted it up on the on, on the Facebook or the Twitter? No, I haven't you? yet because I just, after I was done playing, I came straight here. So, But yeah, I ended up qualifying like right away after 10 games. So now I'm just kind of trying to climb the leaderboard to see if I can win that extra two grand that they gave away for the leaderboard. You right. got this, man. Get it. Right? Sneaking up from behind. Get it. All hex proof and shit. Yeah. Slipping on in there. It's, you're just so darn slippery. Right? I'm slippery so little darn bastard. Slippery. I'm just going to put these in here for right now. I'll get it out of the way so then we can start up the next part. <laughs> yes. Part two. Part two of tonight. Part two of tonight. Hey, what are we doing for part two? You know, I didn't even put in the. In the <laughs> I figured we'd do a quick. A quick like intermission to change all the camera setup. Well, right. we, can, we can change the camera setup. But yeah, now part two to those listening right now. Part two is going to be a time spiral discussion. Set review. <laughs> this is just a good way to you know get the uh, the old the old uh, chaps prepared for talking right. and stuff like that. I'll give that to you, bud. Yeah, we'll need it later. Yeah, I was going to ask you what you wanted me to do with those. That works. Right over here. Okay, so if you all are down to just wait probably about five minutes here, we are going to get the camera and everything set back up. In Matt speak, it'll probably be like ten minutes. 
Okay, I'm going to say... Just be prepared. Yeah. <laughs> music will be will be going still. You can keep up in the chat. We got... We'll, yes, witty banter back and forth in the chat. No, I'm pretty sure we'll just leave the, we'll just leave the, uh, the mics on so you, you, know, you can all listen to us still. Yep. We're just going to change over to... Ba-doom. That. Oh, Matt, get that out of my face. Oh, God damn it. Matt, pull your pants up. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Wait, they weren't on in the first place? What am I What am I doing here? They weren't supposed to know that. <laughs> this is like one of those one of those uh, Zoom calls where you don't realize the other person doesn't have pants on. Yes. Or his laptop tilts forward. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. That, that was a good one. Gotta get... Uh, Gotta get debt. There we go, chat box. Gotta get debt. Should put the chat box in here. Gotta get debt. Boom, boom, So that way people can... Still see uh, and talk okay. and see what they're doing. All right. And now I'm going to stand up. I'll keep the mics on. And then you know, Big G will continue to talk as we adjust things over here. Well, then I'm all on my lonesome now. Well, I mean, I can only hear myself. You can only hear yourself. I'll, t- I'll try and talk loud enough so the microphones can still pick me up. Turn that off. 45 minutes for a booster box opening. Not bad. Not oh, it probably okay. probably helped that we weren't uh, sitting there dinking around with like the commons uncommons right away. Right. Yeah. There's definitely so much to talk about when it comes to all those cards, man. Cosmoa, goddess of the boy, god of the voyage. I love that card way more than I think most people would, because you know it draws you cards and becomes a big threat later in the game. Like I feel that this could. Possibly show up as like a one of in some sort of like modern control shell because of the fetch lands. It could, I mean. It, it can definitely do good in standard because you, got, you still got Fading Passage. Yep. Yep, Fading yep, passage yep. Passage standard is a big helper. Like, what the heck was that? Cat wanted it. Meow. Meow. I think so, maybe. <laughs> so I'm just I'm TV reading. was on, so I'm assuming. Reading what uh, Mrs. Boggle is saying. Then why did you basically carry me away from the TV? You're bigger than Garrett. You can pick him up too. Um, I applaud your your confidence in Matt. I don't think he can pick me up. I am a large human being. I might not be tall, but I am dense. Yes, very dense. He's built like a brick shit house. Well, I was just talking about my head. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Not that head. Hey, you need one of these? You want one of these? Maybe? Don't you have that proxied out? Yes. There yes, I do. Nice. I'll add that to my pile. It's even showcase. Yeah, I figured you'd enjoy that. Right. To go along with my showcase, I'll run. Yeah. Yeah, I have that proxied in that deck too, but I I have the actual card. I just haven't put it in yet because I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to actually have it have it in there. Oh, you're so mean. I know it's fun, though. <laughs> Did you get any Rampage of the Valkyries? There is not a Rampage of the Yeah, I didn't see one. Dang. Because we all know that you would have lost your picks tonight. Right, I would have. I think I pulled one in one of my set boosters. Right, I pulled one today out of the set boosters I got, too. I think I... I can't remember if I got all of them that I need now or not. Um trying to think of what I still need for the angel deck out of this set. Because there's a bunch of enablers and shit. I think I got all my useful Valkyries. I think I got um, the Starnheim Spirants. I think I got all them. Almost there, everybody. But yeah, that Maskwood Nexus, I was uh, contemplating uh, dabbling with one or two of those in the angel deck just because, just to help trigger the Bishop of Wings. Yeah, that would help. Or did you want the foil one? Of what? Oh, heck yeah. All right. You didn't get a great Hall of Starnheim in there, did you? I didn't see one, but. I didn't see one either. Okay, I think we are ready to be back. You know, I find it, it's its like really hard to get uncommons. 
Out of these ones, yeah. Hey. Well, like out of anything, like even regular draft what boosters are you or set boosters. What are you hanging? Like, I hey, feel like go. you'll get, get like right five billion of each common. You'll get duplicates yeah. of rares, but yet when it comes to the uncommons, you'll get like one of like the forty, and that's it. Yeah, that tends to be a little hard. Like it's it seems to be harder to get uncommons than rares. Like it's weird. I don't know how that works. It's <sighs> pretty uncommon, if you ask <laughs> me. Right. Did you want the necromancer to there, Bob? Yes, yes, he did. Okay. Sea clamp. What else was he wanting again? I don't remember. Uh, the non foil Narfies. Yeah. Or just one. The non Pringle version. Non Pringle. Uh, he, wa- he wants a Pringle version. Give him Pringle. I feel like we're in Legend of Zelda. Okay. And we're almost ready to start a bonus episode here. I feel like I should have brought my Chromebook too. I was surprised you didn't. Well, I, I figured it's just spoilers. It's like, it's no biggie. I can just look up on my phone, but. Oh, you're getting yelled at? Is the wife yelling? Unless she did just text me. Tell her to put it in the chat, so oh. that way we can all ridicule you for what you're getting right. yelled at. It's more fun that way, really. Oh, yes. hey. Um, Wait. Matt. Uh, yes. Say, who Something you? Oh, will be here for us in 20 to 30 minutes. we got to listen for the door. Oh, Jesus. It's a surprise. Did she tell him to go to the side door or the front door? Because there's a difference between the two. <laughs> side door is close. They can knock on the window. Right? Yeah, they can just... Like, <laughs> just right not, there. Just, we have headphones hey. on. We might not be able to hear. But. Right? So, JB, what, are, what should we talk about first? The time-shifted cards or the actual cards? Uh, You know, I think we should probably save the time-shifted ones for last. Yeah, all right, let's do that. Helps me. Just because, I think. I, well, that helps me. I'm scrolling to, I'm scrolling down to the stuff then. i got to scroll down. Jesus. I have a lot of time shifted cards. Okay. I haven't even looked at all the spoilers yet. I've seen kind of the bigger ones that got released. But Jeez, that got bumped up to a mythic? Ancestral vision? Yes. Jesus. Yes. Why? It's good, but why? Cuz. Because why not? Ah, okay. I'm just going to use Scryfall. Because Scryfall sets them yeah. out all nice. Scryfall is super nice. I love Scryfall. It Myth- helped me Mythic find all those Mythic crazy things. For, for my preference. Dude, that See, deck is awesome. I dig it, man. Right. I, I, I like Mythic Spoiler for as they're coming out. But after the whole set spoiled, I prefer to look on Scryfall. Yeah, I it's just so much easier. I get you there, but I mean, I'm looking this way and like, uh, yeah, Scryfall, I can search. But all right, like all my crazy <laughs> old, like almost reserved list cards I found <laughs> for my EDH deck <laughs> that just like you play and people are like, "What? <laughs> like that's a thing?" Apparently, yeah. Okay, well, here we are. I think we're ready to start this. Bush. No, it's not. Don't really, lie to the people. I really hope that Don't Miles and them, them listen to the podcast. Like some somebody shows this to them, and then they hit Ooh. us up and be like, "You guys want to do a collab?" It smells fruity. Which one? smell it? Which one is this? Oh, it's the ice wind it one. Does it's smell the, fruity. The, you the can the definitely smell the speed. You can smell smell the hops on it, but you can. Smell the fruit. It smells, fruity. It smells fruity. Try it. All dainty like you didn't put your <sighs> pinky out. When in doubt, pinky nope. out. But I left the river for you as a favor of return. Oh, you're so nice. Right? You're so nice to me. So, Matt, we talked about it while you were out. We're doing the time shift to cards last. Oh, I figured. Yeah. 
Well, I didn't know That's how to do this. Good way to do it. Well, yeah. It's typically, not... we kind of uh, we'd be go in order on Scryfall because it's alphabetically in any oh, color. Fine, I'll go to Scryfall then. Yes. Should be using Scryfall in the first place. I you just shut up. <laughs> you shut up. Oh. And maybe what we can do here as well, so those at home can follow along. You're throwing it up there? Yeah, I'll throw it up here as well. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. So you're gonna pro- you guys in the chat are going to see some things ju- adjusting around. Window capture? Who let the dogs out? Who? 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 Matt didn't let the dogs out. <laughs> I got yelled at then. Because <laughs> <laughs> they piddled all over the floor. Happy pee. Yeah, happy piddled. There we go. So I, I, I don't know how I feel about the fact that this set is like Adnaz remastered, like Double Masters was Tron remastered. Especially since they just nerfed Adnaz by egg- banning Simeon Spirit Guide. Oh, I think. Ooh, nice. I think you're just whining at this point. No, oh, so mad because I was in the process of building that deck. Like I had half the cards already, like in my hand, and I was getting ready to get their other half. And then they go and ban Simeon Spirit Guide and make it unplayable. Well, and then they release the new art for Simeon Spirit Guide right? too. <laughs> Right, and then the Angel's Grace. I mean, look at that. Look at that Angel's Grace. I love that. That I one's freaking sweet. I dig that they changed up some of the arts. Right. But then they kept some of the original ones. Right. Like looking at Angel of Salvation. Yeah, it's not the best card in the world, but you know what? That art is majestic. Right, it does look pretty sweet. So now what somebody kind of said... Uh, told me to do with my Adnaz deck now is maybe shift it over to Legacy. So maybe I'll yeah I'll switch to Legacy Adnaz. There you go. There's get there's how you can get into Legacy then. Well, I've got my green white taxes as Legacy. Oh, I didn't realize that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I was switching it back and forth between Modern and Legacy, and I finally was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna keep it Legacy just so it's, I'm not switching back and forth since I have mono white taxes built in Modern too. What is what is Wade saying over there? Uh, I wish they had the time spiral border on some cards. Cry emoji, cry emoji. Oh. Like Mystic I... Sanctuary? <laughs> Rest in peace. R.I.P. So glad that card's gone. Okay. In some aspects, I'm glad it's gone too, but one of my fun decks that I love playing now is just a tabletop deck. Right? Everyone in the chat. How are how is the screen there? Can you all see the cards, or do you want? Should we just like cover all of our ugly mugs? <laughs> Trying best to get it. Get it. Good. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. it. You you guys are watching. Oh, that's live. right. We're getting even mind sensor reprint too. Yep. Live edits. <laughs> live setup of this whole shebang. <laughs> No Tron. Tron will be a thing. Everybody loves Tron. Tron will always be a thing. Just ask Double Mastered. It was basically Tron remastered. (laughs) Okay. I think that looks okay. What do you guys think? Because nobody in the chat is letting me know. Mm, Sure. We'll go with that. That's fine. That looks good. Yeah. I'm okay with it. Let's just get this. You can still see the chat on there. You can see see, part of our pretty mugs. Actually, this is what we'll do. We'll make this a little smaller. Even though we have faces for radio. Speak for yourself. <laughs> the prettiest one in the room. <laughs> yeah, I am. Mm-hmm. You got a pretty mouth, boy. Yeah, and I use it quite a bit. Thanks. There we go. <laughs> that seems like a good. My wife likes kisses. Between. Okay, you sick bastard. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're 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 adjusting things on the fly right now, D Moose. We want to make it. We definitely want to make it look it looking good on the big screen. Crash and burn, baby. Crash and burn. <laughs> Lord have mercy. All right. Perfect. Okay. We're all in a good position. We're all looking good. So we are five minutes into the recording. Let us... Six minutes into the recording now. Let's do that intro. 
One of these times, maybe I should just get the music to play in the background, too. Ooh. One of these days, you should just pre-record the intro. That's, well, I, that's too this, high tech. This is what we'll do. Too this high is what tech. We'll do. Too high right, tech. Right. This is Matt we're talking about. No, no. He's got the capabilities. Does he have the motivation, though? We have the technology. We can rebuild him better than he was. The six trillion dollar man. <laughs> hey, kitty. Meow. Meow. <laughs> 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 Can't Welcome MTG's to This Week in MTG with your hosts, yes. Matt yes. Olson, JB, and I mean, Danny Oakley. Live, live studio audience. Live, live, live stream. Live stream audience. Yeah. Live stream audience. And, and yeah. You can all listen to that, and I'll make sure to do things in a different spot here, <laughs> because editing is going to be hard to try and do this all together, but just for your guys' immersion into listening to the podcast, there it is for y'all. There it is for y'all. Whoop, there it is. Hello, <laughs> hello and welcome, magic folk, to This Week in MTG, your aggregate news source for all things Magic the Gathering. Hello, I'm Matt, one of your hosts. Over there we got JB. Yay. And special guest for this special episode, Big G. What's Welcome up? back. Thanks, man. How, Glad to be back. How do you feel coming back to the podcast? You know, I feel good. I, I enjoy doing this stuff. I enjoy getting to talk about magic cards and just right? Who know, doesn't? magic in general and bullshitting. So. Who doesn't love to nerd out? To all those wondering, uh, Big G secretly took out Danny. Because the first time was just like, it was that hit of cocaine. It was that hit of crack that he was just like, I got to take Danny out for this. Right. And Danny's gone. Gave him a chloroform. Or he's, rag. Just, or hey. he's, just, or he's just busy with his sapling. Like today. Th- th- yeah, that's I mean, that's, no, the, that can, that's no, you, you get, get it right. You handed him a rag and he says, hey, does this smell like chloroform? <laughs> oh, man. The, the other night, uh, <laughs> my wife made... Uh, my wife made food for us on Monday night, and damn, I it was been here Monday. Made shepherd's pie. Yeah, it was and, actually pretty oh, good. It was good. It was good. And one of the th- uh, she put in, she put in something in there, but I said it wrong. And I said when I was Danny was like, "What's in it?" I'm like, "There's chloroform in here." <laughs> I was trying to say like the actual ingredient that's supposed to be in there. He's like, "I'm not eating it. There's chloroform." I'm like, "Shit, no, it's not chloroform. It's the other thing." And now I can't remember it. <laughs> Cauliflower. There we go. <laughs> I think that, no, it couldn't be that. Well, it's the only thing that's close to chloroform. It was something. It was funnier than, and I'm ruining the story by trying to talk about it now. So <laughs> I apologize to all you who are listening to this now. All I know it was good, and I ate the last of it because I'm a fatty. Yeah, it was solid. Yeah, and it was made with uh, vegetarian meat, too. Yeah, and you so. couldn't, you, you really couldn't tell. Interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm always down for that, um, yeah. trying that stuff because, like, cauliflower crust pizza, like, just as not obviously the same thing but on i wouldn't notice the difference right cauliflower it's, rice isn't bad yeah, i've done that before um, Cal- cauliflower cauliflower, cauliflower nuggies cauliflower. is really good uh my wife makes these uh cauliflower uh <laughs> makes made these cauliflower chicken nuggets with her own like breaded seasoning and stuff and put them in the air fryer they're so good because oh, the center nice. gets steamed and the outside gets crispy and it's delicious hey huh. mason i'm sorry no here. i'm very You're disappointed ready. I got in this. you right I got now this. i got this jb i got this no you can't just say insert my shadow rage speed rage you, shadow legends you, you have to type it out sir you're not getting yeah. away with it this time yeah you had it on copy paste last time <laughs> don't don't let the meat yeah. fall don't pick it up <laughs> don't ruin it please it be a be a re- <laughs> fine, <laughs> fine one <laughs> <laughs> crack that whip <laughs> well wait if wade's here we got to do this whole episode in ASMR. Yeah, we do. Let me turn up the gain here. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he actually did copy and paste. It. Did you did you not expect him to do that? Lip smacking good time. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, keto pizza crust demos that I've had that one time so at good. Blaze Pizza. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, man. I don't know. I don't get why people always knock on vegetarian food. Like, my wife is vegetarian, so that's why I have all this food. But, uh, like, with the Beyond Meat, the Impossible Meat, like, Burger King has the Beyond or the Impossible Whopper. 
you can't tell like the thing is delicious it's a whopper yeah. and then you got those mexican uh qdoba qdoba has the impossible or pancheros i guess pancheros pancheros right. one, of, one of those burrito places they have the also this is a non-sponsored ad by any of these companies we've right just yeah been hashtag missed. non-sponsored yeah hashtag not sponsored hashtag but, except for by, by j-dubs can yeah can we get uh can we get sponsored by a big g's moonshine stash here like i'd be fine with with working out deals with that hey i'm down for it right? means i get to make more we gotta i think we gotta look into the rules and regulations of trying to peddle alcohol <laughs> right well okay this podcast officially is now 21 plus sorry folks <laughs> deal with it yep. well uh, yeah what do you do like submit you got- your driver's license before listening please you got like the wizard staff and whatever the other <laughs> brewing place, like Brew DH or something like that. They they have alcohol on camera and then brainstorm, brainstorm brewery. brewery. Yeah, the like, dude's half lit half the time. Was it Jason? Yeah, he's half drunk half the time. Every episode, he is goes on goes his on rants, spiel. dude. It's great. Just <laughs> Niv, Niv Mizzet. copter. Niv Mizzet. No, no, bad Danny. <laughs> bad Danny. Niv, Niv Mizzet. I want to talk about cards this much. You got to you got to be playing Candy Crush first for about oh, five minutes, then you say Nib Mizzet. Yeah, we still have we still have four minutes in before it's that ten minute mark where right? it's like, then we it's like have to worry okay, about. all right, sorry, I'll I'll sit here on my phone then playing <laughs> a game. So to all those that I take made it, Danny out and I have to actually be him. I thought I got to be better than him. <laughs> That's not how this works, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so to those that are true. OG listeners that trudged through listening to this opening introduction just to get to the juicy contents of this episode. <laughs> You're legends. Thank you for making it this far. <laughs> but I'll, I'll just read this one real quick. Yeah. A buddy of mine just sent me a snap. It says, warning, bar needs your help. We can only open at one third of our capacity. Those who cannot drink for three are kindly asked to leave their place. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> what are we doing here? They got an octobong set up right in the middle of the middle of the room. I'd be down. Okay, so sorry, Matt. I interrupted. No, you're good. You're good. Uh yeah, you made it this far. Congratulations. Now let's start this episode. <laughs> right? You're in for a wild ride. So this episode, Time Spiral is fully Time Spiral Remastered is fully spoiled. The list is online. You can find it on the uh, <clears throat> gatherer. We're looking at Scri- Scrypal for tonight. And we're just going to kind of go in Wooberg alphabetical order and talk about cards that are getting reprinted that are going to be good that we would just want to talk about and highlight to your attention. A um, couple things. Remember, this is a draftable set. It's not going to be on Arena. It's only going to be on Moto. Oh, so Because it would be broken AF if it was on Arena. Right. Jesus, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, to those that are just strictly Arena players, uh, you're not going to be able to play Time Spiral. But if Get you're... Get good, um, scrub. <laughs> Don't say that to our listeners. <laughs> yeah, you scrub. <laughs> hey, I qualified. Mason hasn't yet. So <laughs> Mason, get good, scrub. <laughs> Shit, son. Shots fired. Pew, pew. 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 Shit. I got to get the soundboard out. <laughs> <laughs> now you really got to be Danny. <laughs> it this? I think it was this one. Yep. <laughs> He's like, sir, I qualified for the modern one. Where are you at, JB? So far, I've qualified for two. I qualified for standard in this one. So, so here's, how many have you qualified for, Mason? Here's JB's attempt. Wade, <laughs> what's your attempt? <laughs> right. Let's see your attempt here. So far, it's modern. I'm waiting. Let me do the big slap. Let's see it. Or is it going to be a pinky? I mean, if it's a pinky, then it's like it's a boggle thing. Then too, and it's like I feel sorry for you, son. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Yeah, playing, yeah, qualifying is the key thing. So yes. you just qualify for modern. <laughs> there you go. You get a slow clap. Uh, okay, okay. We made it to this far. It's draftable. There are... Oh, we'll talk about the time shifted uh, sheet here uh, at the end of the episode, but we're going to mention it. We're going to be talking about those cards as well, which is a super cool thing that Wizards is doing in <laughs> Time Spiral Remastered. <laughs> Well, your business. Don't okay. Yeah. Don't, don't worry about us. <laughs> you can do your thing. You told me to be Danny, so right. I'm sitting here okay. dicking Just... around on my phone. All right. <laughs> I'm the machine. 
That one's not on here. Aww. So let's just jump into this right here, right now. This is probably going to be a longer podcast. I don't think we have really any, like, constraints. <laughs> but there's probably a limit to your guys' sanity how much you're actually listening to at this point. <laughs> so let's jump into this. <laughs> yes, let's. So the order is going to be white, universe, beyond, red, green. Boo. <laughs> you didn't like my pun. Boo. <laughs> Your jokes are bad and you should feel bad. Right. Well, hey, they're the ones that abbreviated Universes Beyond, capital U, capital B, which is blue black. I get you on that. That one is really confusing because when I was reading articles on it. Right? You're thinking, what's wrong with blue black? <laughs> like, No, I was sitting here going, oh, they're getting rid of blue black? Right? Hell yeah. Right? Now we're just <laughs> going to be Berg. Work, work, work. <laughs> so, JB, what are you thinking about some of these, uh, some of these cards starting off on the whites? You know, but yeah, for for those listeners who are are newer to Magic, Wooberg is is just the abbreviation of all yep, the colors, the so color identities. White, blue, because U is blue mm-hmm. in Magic, and then B is yep, B is next, which is black. Yep. Then you have R is red and G is green. The best color in magic. Which one? Green. Eh. I'm sorry. Is it delayed? Oh. Oh. Interesting. Oh. I'm the anticipation's killing me on what it is. Right. She yelled at me for telling you because it was supposed to be a surprise, but I'm like, how are we supposed to hear the door? We can't hear the door in the office yeah. with our headphones on. Right, and now Maddie's going to bed, so she can't let us know if the door is ringing. So, <gasps> tell her she needs to stay up. <laughs> At least until whatever the surprise is. Right, because I want to know now. She wouldn't tell me. I'm hoping it's insomnia cookies. That'd be pretty dope. Oh God, that would be good. Right? Oh man, mm. Mrs. G would be some a little upset. <laughs> some, <laughs> Take a picture, send nice it to her, and be like, "This is what happens when you let me go do this." And she's like, "Well, I guess I'm recording a podcast with you next time." Warm, hot, fresh. <laughs> she'll cookies. show up. She'll show up with the little G, and right? Be, she'll be running around. But but, yes. Mrs. Before we deviate, Mrs. Mrs. Boggle. Yeah, we're deviating here real quick, Mrs. Boggle. We're in the we're in the studio. We're in the recording office. We can't hear anything outside there. <laughs> Even yes, if the doorbell it's a rings. Soundproof room. Yeah, it's, it's surprisingly soundproof. We're sealed off from the rest of the world. It does a pretty good job, and I dig it. I dig it a lot. Okay, so she put watch for it. Ding dong. Does that mean they're at the door? No, no. no. I think she's saying calling us ding dongs. Yeah, she's calling not, us a ding dong. Not that, us. That's you. The, so. The only thing you should, what you should have done. No, no, no. It's about you being nice. How can you, how about this? You'd help us out here a little bit. Look at your, whatever you ordered this stuff on and see where it currently is right. at compared to so our location. Fu- future reference. Oh, oh calling okay. JB a ding Awesome. We're out. Hey, Matt, high five. Hey, now. Boom. That's We're weird. out of this. <laughs> no, what you got to do next time is we'll take the, we'll take the sheet down off the window and just have them <laughs> creepily stand in front of the window and knock on it. You realize that if it's Danny in this spot, he's probably going to have a heart attack if he sees somebody <laughs> creeping out the window. Right? <laughs> oh, my God. Little, okay. did, little did you guys know I got Mrs. Boggles in on this get rid of Danny plan. <laughs> what? Ooh. Oh, Danny's shit. not going to hear the podcast. The, he's not going right, to listen. He doesn't listen to this yeah, shit. Yeah, that's very true. That is very true. We could t- Again, we could talk shit about him all we want on <laughs> right? here, and he's not going to know. You could do that when he's here. He's not listening. Right? He's playing Candy Crush. <laughs> like, how far into this episode are right. we? And we haven't even gotten to the main Right? We haven't read a yet, single so. card yet. <laughs> we are 14 minutes in. So how about that Angel's Grace, guys? <laughs> Are we starting off with that? Let's start sure. with Angel's Grace. I, yeah. That card I dig. Right? That art is sweet, too. It's just sad that the deck got nerfed. Angel's Grace. It'll go in other cards. Calm down. Or in single, other decks. Single no, white won't. instant. Split second. So this is a cool mechanic that came out in Original Time Spiral. Uh, split second. As long as the spell is on the stack, players can't cast spells or activate abilities that aren't mana abilities. And then uh, you can't lose the game this turn, and your opponents can't win the game this turn until end of turn. Damage that would reduce your life total to less than one reduces it to one instead. This was a marquee card in the old Adnaz decks. Yep. That got hey, they're stopped. not that old. Okay, they just got nerfed, sir. 
Yeah, Adnos. <laughs> was, but but Adnos is one of those old. Yes, it's been around old, for a while. But old it's, guard it's modern that, decks. It's not that, that old has and dead. Been. But hey, I just had a thought. Where's Preston? Upstairs. Have him watch for the door. <laughs> well, then we're gonna have to cut him in on whatever it is. No, we don't. Oh, like, so we'll you weren't going to cut your wife in on this? You were going to have her watch for the door and not cut her in on it? See. <laughs> oh, you're rude. Demos is saying move cards to the left. We see two of, wait, what? Right. Two of the three. Sure. What about that? No, your other left. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Yeah. There. Okay. There we there. go. Good thing we don't do this on Lux. This is up. <laughs> right? I'll have to figure something out for you. On right? That. We're so cool. We're like Brainstorm Brewery guys. Yeah. <laughs> How about that smuggler's copter? <laughs> Shut up. Not only do you have... A Saffron Olive impersonation, but you have a Jason Alt impersonation. impersonation. It's okay. I'm not as good as his Bernie Sanders rant. That mm-hmm. was pretty good. You've got a you've got a Saffron Olive impression. Let's hear it. Oh God, yeah, we're gonna start this beef. We're gonna start this beef with Saffron Olive, and we're gonna go like insanely, what par- insanely what part famous. Of, what part of all news is good news? Didn't you understand? Right. The Th- that's what I'm trying to say. They they're the ones that don't want to start the beef with him. Well, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Right? We got this whole persona. It's called Coriander Pepper. Okay. Right? It's right. playoff Sanford. I don't know. Yeah, Hold right. on. Did you not listen to the one episode? No. Which one? You kept I'm, it, it was, in? Yeah. I kept that part in last episode. Oh. I listened See, to so the last you don't episode. Li- you don't no, listen I... to our podcast. I will end it. <laughs> <laughs> I listened live. <laughs> well, then you would have heard it. Well, unfortunately, my wife asked for my attention. Oh, no. So oh, you missed the my attention. <laughs> I mean, completely understandable. When the wife comes a holler and it's like, pants down, uh, a dress, yes. Wait, no, that's not what we're talking Wait, about. Wait, you wear a dress? That's yeah, what I heard a, out of that. problem with it? Who says Matt can't wear a dress? And I don't know if you know this, JB, but I put, have mock-up photos of you in a dress. And let me tell you, boggles, it <sighs> it helps their legs so well. Rachel, you weren't supposed to show those to anybody? <laughs> All right, so Angel's Grace. Yes. I'd say a much-needed repeat. Right, or yeah, a reprint. It, it needed reprint. another print because, let's see, has it even really been in any other? Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, just a couple other. Just it's part of the list that came out. Was it the Zendikar? It, it doesn't specifically say if it was the right. Zendikar list or if it's, it's the just the list. list. The list, yeah. And it, it looks out. like it's just Modern Masters. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, it's just been in master sets. It hasn't had another base set reprint. But I mean, looking at the prices too, the nice thing about that is, well, the pr- I mean, the, the price. Mo- so the modern masters one when it came out, sitting at twenty bucks for just a non foil. The price did insanely rocket after Thassa's Oracle got printed. Oh yeah, it was way cheaper. I mean, it was pretty affordable. And then Thassa's Oracle got printed, and Adnaz was on the rise, and Angel's Grace just tank, just it's shot. A- Matt, if you want for this part. I, I can do the pricing stuff. You can just keep the cards up. Oh, okay. So if we if we are questioning a price or anything. Right. Like I just pulled I just pulled it up on Scryfall. So Perfect. Then we'll just right. keep it here. Yeah. Angel there's Angel's Grace for y'all. That's a that's a JB special. Right? But yeah, so I mean the nice thing about these especially this time spiral or time yeah, time spiral remastered prints of all these cards is going to be the fact of like we've talked about with collectors boosters and everything. It's just going to bring the prices down, which is needed. Right. Like some of these cards. Well, unless you ask the hardcore collectors. Okay. But the hardcore You're collectors. You're tanking my value in my cards. The hardcore collectors have been playing since 93. Right. They can just keep their 93, 94 format awesome. and just play it. Keep it. Wonderful. Good for you. Right. But and the biggest complaint they have more often than not is actually more so like the reserve lift stuff. They think the reserve list should stay in place. Right. And then there are some people that go, no, no, I played during original time spiral block. I want these cards to say their value. Guess what? The, the original time spiral version of this card is still sitting at $20. Mm-hmm. 
But the newer version, which is going to ha have more copies of it, is going to be lower. And that's just fine. Mm -hmm. Who are we to say, hey, we're the gatekeepers of our, our hobby. Right. We can't let people in. We want new people in. Right. Have you seen the meme where it's that uh, it's the the character standing in front is um, old. It's labeled old magic players saying new play, new players are ruining the game. And it shows the new player sitting on the on, on the chair behind. Yes. It. Getting shot. And then on the second oh, yeah. frame, it's like, boom, he shoots them. It's like, yeah, that's uh, that explains it to a T right there. Magic needs to be an inclusive game. Uh, Steve Summers, Steve, Stu Summers talked about this on the episode that he came on, where uh, Wizards should definitely try and diversify getting other people into the into the game and stuff, and having you know different people rep uh, Magic. Oh yeah, I was where he was talking about the you know the bigger name podcast yeah. and everyone getting the preview cards, where he's like, hey, why not get these people who are nerds into other ones? Yes, question in the front. No, I'm saying oh, like us. Saying us. Like us. I want a preview card. No, we don't want a preview card. Yeah. There's nothing good that comes. Like, okay, uh, a band that is into, like, deep into Magic the Gathering and stuff, but it got other people, like, hey, Magic's a thing still. Look at this awesome metal set. And that is a thing that needs to happen. Instead of giving it to people that are already going to be talking about these cards, have the previews out there. Because then you can talk about, oh, cool, Lacuna Coil did a preview card. Uh, on whatever the preview card is. I can't remember, but the fact it's like these names are now getting associated with magic. And the biggest thing is brand association. If you're associated with an artist, with a streamer or something, that preview card is going to hold more results. I'm trying to think of a better word. than Value. value. I'd say overall value as far right. as like, what you're intending to do with the preview cards. Right. I mean, still give like the bigger magic streamers them because they have a wide audience you know like the casual magic players are still going to be watching game nights they're still going to be watching edh rec uh, those guys are pretty big yeah uh, the masters of modern they're pretty big that are all that well and then mtg goldfish and yeah and mtg goldfish like those those, those, <laughs> those are the top tier ones it's like <laughs> cool i get i get the effect i get the idea chuckles <laughs> it's your boy <laughs> saffron oh yeah. We're going to talk about these cards here because I'm just really excited about all these cards. This set is, this, oh, this, this is, bit is staying this in must the have, episode. This must have been the second part of the episode on Monday then. <laughs> hey, Grim, what are you doing? Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's Shut talk up. about some cards here. Matt, can I slap him? <laughs> Please do. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't censor me. <laughs> No, but Matt, I agree with you. I, like these, the bigger ones getting the preview cards is awesome. But if the whole goal is to get more people playing, which Wizards of the Coast is a business, right? They want to sell more cards. They want to expand their audience, right? Give it to people that you know could be associated with Magic. Like, oh, let's look at your wall over here. Did anyone know they were associated with Magic prior to them making no the yeah. Secret Layers cards? This is this is a a great. Example. Wait, are you talking about the artist or the framer? The artist. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, uh, and and another cool thing that could be done, like, I guess to quickly p uh, elaborate here, you know, maybe Wizards could keep like a, a, a short list of like streamers, small streamers or small time people in the Magic community and stuff that do get a preview card, but not like everybody gets a preview card kind of a thing well, like, like keep a small list of those it's like okay now now getting a preview card will feel even more special because it just seems like one of those things they toss around but imagine how cool it is like i'll bring up the nano war of steel example but like when keldheim was getting spoiled they had uh amon amarth do a video and stuff like these guys that have pretty solid resources awesome um, Tolarian Community College did a great video with previews, but a lot of the people that do a preview card, it's just like, I got a preview card, guys. Let's post it up on Twitter. It's like they don't do anything extra for a card that someone of a bigger name that could have a higher production value do. I don't know. I don't it's know. Probably not, it's probably not a popular take, and I don't know. I'm, I'm going to stand on that. Like, clip this out at me, y'all. <laughs> like... Let's, let's let's do this. I think I think big names should be doing doing this. And if this is the point that Wizards wants to do, like, well, and the thing is, like, they don't preview every single card. Like, they don't give 
a preview card to everyone. They don't preview or give two or how many were in this set? 200 they, in total? They don't, 289. They don't give 411 cards. Oh, yeah. To, they don't do 411 previews, so 411 podcasters are going to get a card. They do 50. Maybe. Right, just some and of the, 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 the big hitters. And a lot of times, you know, they do double or triple up cards to a yeah. single person. Like uh, Solarian Community College, he got three of the merfolks yeah. that we'll probably cover here in a second. And the thing there is, like, do something like that where it's like, hey, these bigger name ones that we know, like if you're going to jump over to Command Zone, you know, Jimmy Wong loves goblins. Yeah, give give the goblin guy goblins to preview. Give Tolarian College, give Prof the merfolks because he loves them. But hey, we've got this. We've got this metal band, Amon Amarth. They're a Viking metal band. We're going into Norse mythology. Yeah, let's do that. Whoever had that idea was awesome, because one, I love Amon Amarth. I got to see him live at Northern North Invasion. Invasion. Yes. Would, would, did we know each other at that point? We didn't know each other at that we point. I was going to bring that up earlier. Oh shit! We probably were, we, were you in the we, pits when the when the, oh, yeah. the Viking ship was going. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Yes, that was great. Oh, that was so great. Oh, we're going to take a... So anyway, quick, even Mind off, Sensor. Off, a quick off-topic question here from Wade97 for y'all right now, but want to take any guesses when League comes back? Bismarck sounds like they are trying to find a day to start meeting again. Ah. Well, I know uh, I was just at J-Dubs I'm the other day. July. No, Josh was saying that he's not looking for, uh, not looking to things opening up until September. Yep. He's he gonna was, play. He's gonna play it by the book until Wizards officially drops their. Uh, uh, it's not embargo. <laughs> God, uh, the, you know the the lockdown on yeah, in store right. in store play, uh, the lockdown on that. You know, I know he did talk about doing the idea of doing like a twenty four hour. Yep, I'm gonna let people play a little bit. But that, I think that was just kind of an idea that was floating around his head because he wants people to be able to draft. Yeah, yeah, no, because drafting is a big thing, man. Right, drafting is a big thing. If he does that, that's going to be good. Drafting is fun, or even just doing freaking in person four po- person commander pods. Oh right? my god, just goodness. something. Just I, I'm something. very thankful for spell table, but it's not the, the whole same. point. It's not just about it not being the same. Like some people might have crappy resolutions on cameras, and then yeah. it's like I can't click on the card to see what the card is. Right? It's like speaking of which, apparently the video audio is stuck. Our video is stuck. Audio is good. Uh, try refreshing your page. That and I don't, but I don't think we're actually moving all that much. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. yeah we're we're, we're, just, we're kind of stationary thing. here. Like, that's the thing. Uh, we're th- moving that's our why mouths. The, but... the, the scrolling at the bottom. That was another reason I put the scrolling at the bottom because of. <laughs> so that way people know the video is frozen. Yeah, the video is going. Yeah, if, if it's scrolling, you're good. Yeah, if it's scrolling, you're good. We just don't move around a lot. We're not very animated here. So anyway, back to the cards. Yeah. We. <laughs> So we're, we, we're one card in, right? We, <laughs> one we, card. So we kind of got uh, like a D and T remaster going on with this set too. Uh, well, I mean, a good first up, ch- a good chunk of death and taxes came from right. This block, exactly. So. Uh, first up, we've got an even mind sensor, which I know people dabble in and out of D and T, like sideboard stuff like that. Uh, so for two and white, you get a two one bird wizard with flash and flying. And if an opponent would search a library, that player searches the top four cards of that library instead, which can be very, very relevant. Opening that door for ventilation. Oh, okay, thanks. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> Why don't you open the window? Uh, yeah, I mean, cars are driving by less now, so not going to get loud, odd, uh, loud car sounds in the background, probably. Also, should we check the front door? Is that should we check the front door? Oh, let's do a, right. let's do a quick check. Well, here you guys keep going. I'll check. Do Since okay. I'm right here. Do front door check. So yeah, even mind sensor. It's pretty good. It's got flash. So I mean, when somebody tries to crack a, a fetch land or something like that, you can just flash this baby in and be like, oh, okay, hey, no, just look at your top four instead. Yeah, and, and Avon Mind Sensor is a card that is played in EDH as well. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, people love tutoring and stuff. It's like, cool, Demonic Tutor, uh, Grim Tutor, uh, now Flash in Avon Mind Sensor. It's like, 
I hope that your card is in the top four. Right. Better hope you scratch it there, buddy. Right. And it's not like this card was ever super expensive, but it's still a really good card to have. Right. Like it's it's utility utility in a creature. It's th- the three mana for a two one flyer is worth it to stop them from getting what they want. Mm-hmm. But and it looks like we're also getting a return of a couple mechanics, which I think are actually kind of cool, like uh, flanking. Flanking is coming back in this. Yeah, and that's whenever a creature without flanking blocks this creature, the blocking creature gets neg one, neg one till end of turn. This one is an old mechanic, if I'm not mistaken, came out in Portal Three Kingdoms. I think so. I want to. I, I want to say so. I want to say you're right, but yeah, I could definitely. I'm be not right. well versed in old sets. Yeah, so, nor am I. I mean, as as we've covered before in previous episodes, uh, our our magic no- history knowledge is minimal. We try our best to understand. Right, and it looks like we're also getting Suspend back, which I, I honestly like. Suspend, I think it's a pretty cool mechanic. Suspend is one of my favorite mechanics. It's it's the base of my modern deck. The Is it as foretold? I got Suspend, uh, Wheel, of, uh, Wheel of Fate. I got... You also got Ancestral, Ancestral Vision. Week. Yeah, Ancestral Vision. And which, then, yeah, how, how do you feel about the rarity shift with that? They Yeah, because they brought that up to Mythic, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll cover that when we get to there. But right now we're still in white. So uh, I'm pretty sure Big G will let us know if he has a card in white. But we're just going to kind of keep cruising yep, we're on by. Scroll on down. These are all in alphabetical order and color order, by the way, people. So, I mean, yes. you, follow you'll kind of catch on. Yep. Follow with us as we're talking and stuff. Krovax Ascendant Hero. Um, this was a card that was talked about Oh, um, with the mythic rarity and, and stuff. Uh, Gavin Verhey of Wizards of the Coast and YouTuber of Good Morning Magic had an uh, an episode. We highly, I highly recommend that you watch them all. Like, it's packed full of information. That's where I get a lot of the news that I repeat to all y'all on on the weekly news podcast that comes out. And it's informative, very fun. But you know, we we condense it down. So please still listen to us. But he was talking about the uh, the upshifting of rarities and stuff when it came because in original Time Spiral. Mythic wasn't a rarity at that point. And so they had to look at all the cards that they had and see which ones are, you know, are kind of like deemed at a mythic rarity. And some of them they just had to be like, okay, well, this card has this kind of thing and we have to choose another mythic card because, you know, there can only, without having mythic in mind, getting the power level of a mythic rare on cards that weren't mythic rare at the time was a little hard. So I highly recommend you watch that. Uh, when I'm editing this, I'll definitely try and remember to put the link in the description for y'all. We're getting one of my one of, one of my jams is getting reprinted. Which one's that? Manatide. Oh. Nothing like a white counter spell. Climbing on down there, yeah. No one, no one sees it coming. Right? Single white instant counter target spell unless controller <clears throat> pays one. Yeah, if uh, that's a big thing. White doesn't have counter spells, and so if you just see an opponent with a one white mana open, a lot of the time you're not going to be thinking of a mana tithe. Right, really. you're going to be thinking path, yeah, you know, path or, or swords. swords. Like, yeah, oh, you're going to try to exile my creature. Okay, whatever. So I'm just going to cast some stuff, you know, whatever. And then all of a sudden you you tap out for a big cast. Like I'm fine. Oh, psh, mana tithe. What the hell? Right. What? A creature type that they're bringing back that is very magic orientated are slivers. Right here, we got lymph sliver. Ugh, slivers. So slivers have right. this thing where all Ugh. slivers get a thing, and all the slivers that are here have different effects for that. I think that's the first sliver here. Otherwise, I would have brought it up. Right. Earlier. Yeah, I think that one is. Yeah, that is the first sliver. That isn't. So yeah, uh, slivers is a creature type that got reprinted, and when it came to making this set. They definitely wanted to have slivers in here. And when it comes to drafting this set, if you're going to do it in paper, if you're going to do it on moto, uh, slivers is its own real archetype. Like you, you are definitely going to have to aggressively be drafting slivers to get yes. the sliver deck to go. And you just can't be having slivers tossed into your deck into this to where you can hopefully get some of the payoffs. Right. No, sliver tribal is just it's it's disgusting to play against. It's if you can't get a handle on them real quick, you're just you're done for. And I mean, really, who, what kind of degenerate plays that? 
kind of a tribe. Play out. Oh, I've, <laughs> <laughs> I've I've run into a couple sliver decks on Moto before, and it's just it's yeah. If you, if you can't get a handle on them or outrace them, you're just it's. Well, you might the, as well just concede. And the thing is, the big thing with those is the fact that it's static. Mm-hmm. It stays around. We're, we're like, for those of you who know what I'm talking about, I play allies and modern, and these two have both played it against it, and it can go off and it can go very quick but as soon as it as soon as i'm done with my turn my stuff leaves and all my one ones and two twos don't have any more of their boosts but slivers they just stick around Mm -hmm. and they're so damn hard to kill right because then you got slivers that give all slivers have regenerate or shroud yep and then on top of that oh yeah my sliver can tap for mana that i need to use to regenerate it right oh slivers are the embodiment of synergies they are as much hate as gets thrown at slivers though you can't help but just applaud the fact of how well they work and how right. well you can make a deck around them oh yeah i think the great thing about slivers is is that they just work with themselves like, imagine if you could start having, like, one off or two off of slivers just randomly in a deck because they're just that good of a sliver. I feel the design of slivers says a lot that it's locked into this one sliver archetype. Right. Yeah. You know, so that way it's not bleeding out everywhere and everyone's like, oh, my God, this strionic sliver is bullshit. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's in every deck. You see it. It's like Uro in Mystic Sanctuary. Uro sliver. Oh, right? Oh, God, Uro Sliver. Nature. All Slivers have, when it attacks, you gain three life and draw a card. <laughs> <laughs> Wizards, please don't be listening to this. <laughs> well, listen to us so you give us preview cards. No, no, no. Right? L- listen to us so that way you hear us talk about this card. Then you can't make that card because you heard it from somebody else. And I know that you guys can't do that. All right. So what what you're really saying is we should just talk about every single card possibility there is and make sure that they hear it. Quick, send a link to Gavin. Right. There we go. <laughs> or, or, or your boy. He doesn't work there. Saffron. Oh, what good is he that? He works at Goldfish. Close enough. No, it's not. They're not a- close enough. Oh. Stepping stones, bro. Stepping stones. All right, here we go. Here's here's a fun one for the for the Blink decks. Um, scrolling, scrolling down there. Sorry, I skipped. Oh, you passed quite a bit down. Oh, okay. You were talking about blink text. I'm like, oh, momentary blink. Right. Good. Yeah, that's oh, what I thought too. Because I was looking at Mangara. Well, no, I wasn't looking at that one. I was looking at uh, Stormfront Riders. So, yep, keep going. Way down there. Oh, look, another creature, sliver. Creature blink. Oh, another sliver. There, yeah, there there's so many slivers. That's why I kept skipping down. <laughs> oh, look, there's another gonna, white counter spell. We're gonna be going so, out there. Stormfront Riders is four colorless and a white. It's a flying human soldier token, or not token creature. <laughs> it's a creature itself. <laughs> When Stormfront Riders enters the battlefield, return two other creatures you control to their hands. So it's not really a blink deck, but it's I've seen it used for blink. Whenever Stormfront Riders or another creature is returned to your hand from the battlefield, create a 1-1 white soldier creature token. Hey, you could probably put this in here. Have you thought about putting this in that commander deck you just made? Uh, might work. Might kind of eh, work. Maybe. It's returning it to his hand, and that one works on things. Is it leaving the battlefield or exiling? Exiling. It is oh, exactly okay. so yeah. Well, I was right. more so about the spirits. Right. But I have a buddy who plays this in a soldier deck and oh my goodness, it is sick and nasty when I when this comes out, I know I'm in trouble. Right. Because it's just gonna sit there and go, Oh, okay, yep, more soldiers and he has all the pump spells in the world for him. Right. So it'll just be, Okay, cool, yep, soldiers. Oh, they're pumped, they're big and crap. Right. So sorry, yeah, I skipped way down there, but I know another card that JB. I know you like this one. Which I one? like this one. Sarah Avenger. Yes, yes. Sarah Avenger is good. Two white for an three three angel creature token or creature card. Why do I keep saying token? I don't know. We were just playing token. Yeah, decks. we were just we were just dueling tokens. Um. Uh, so the. The caveat to this is you cannot play it during your first, second, or third turns of the game, and it has flying and vigilance. But the, the but nice that's thing, what Aether Vial's for. You throw an Aether Vial down, or you just sit there and go, that's fine, I'm in a mono-white deck. I'm going to throw two of them down on turn four. Right? <laughs> Boom. Oh. And it's vigilance, so it's not like yep. you're missing out on too much. 
Uh, I have my copies of this card, and it's well. Let's let's check here. Let's check the prices on this one. Ah, I opened a new window, not a tab. I mean, it's not an expensive card in the first place. The, no, the original but... Time Spiral block version is two bucks. Right. I picked mine up for I think like four or five bucks each. But I mean, this is just for those people who like to play angels, like right, really? like me. Yeah. Oh, it did get reprinted in Magic. In the 2013 core set. Right, I was going to say, it was in one of the core sets, wasn't it? Yes. Yep. Nope. Oh, jeez. Also, it, anyone seen the States and Champs promo version? It's got, like, the old yep. full hold art. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just look. look at Matt's screen. Let me look. Right there. Look. JB, right there. I don't want to. Turn to your right. Jesus Christ, it's old man. right there. It's right there, and it's bigger Ooh. than you can see it without your fucking spectacles on. Ooh. Jesus. Wow. wow. Are we going to be doing this whole thing where you're just going to be stubborn about technology? Yes. Did you listen to the episode? No. Where yeah. we had a, where it was like pulling teeth from a rat to get him to try and get a Skype account? That was a couple weeks ago. Okay. Yeah. They yeah. also did not put it into context with me either that they were already waiting. No, because you knew, you knew. I told you the time was one o'clock, and here we are at quarter to one. Because for some reason, I thought one thirty. And whose fault is that? My old ass. There you go. <laughs> you old. But no, I mean this. Ah! This card is nice, and even though it's a cheaper card, I mean for those who are maybe, maybe they haven't played around in, with time spiral stuff or haven't ventured too far in, and they're looking to start diving into modern. Right. And they go, hey, you know, I really like angels. Boom. There we go. Hey, that's where I got my start in modern. I built an angel deck. Well, and like I know, I at one of the local shops here was playing and little girl just started playing and she jumped into modern of all things to start with. Mm -hmm. The whole theme of her deck was I just want things that have wings and they fly. Dang, there you go. Oh, boy. You, you got it. JB, you got to. I got to move. You got to move. I don't know if my mic moves that far. Here, and I don't want to talk on Matt's mic well, then, because my then levels here, will be then off. He, then here, here. So I'll, here, I'll take it. Gonna, I'll take his. I'll take his. We're going to go like this. No, JB, stop. Crash stop. and burn. Don't, no, don't. Crash and burn. Don't mess with the mic. Ugh. There. Jesus. There. We did it. Oh, my God. This is going to end badly. We done did it. <laughs> now, I don't Apparently, know how to use two screens, so this will be interesting. This is why where's, I was going to go over where's there. Where's my cursor? Oh there, God. It, there it is. I found it. <laughs> okay. So. Mrs. Boggles just... I'm in control just, now. Just, oh, God, help us. I'm in control. Mrs. Boggles, are you saying that your commander deck that you built was just pretty things with wings and they fly? Yeah, no, she's got a, um, a blue-white flyers. Oh, nice. Yep, Ojitai nice. is the okay. commander. All right. Well, JB, should we should we scroll down? Should we get to the okay, the woo, so, the U of Wooberg? Uh, no, because there's a couple more whites I want to talk about. All right, which ones? Where is, are we going? The, 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 white is my favorite color. I I just love it. You would. <laughs> I do. It's just it's just very me. You would. So we got another white counter spell. So we're getting two white counter spells in this in this set here. We got rebuff the wicked. For a single white, it's an instant. You can counter target spell that targets a permanent you control. Which can kind of help. Um, it helps against removal spells, stuff like that. You know what I find funny about this right now? Is you're picking out the blue version, the white cards that do blue card things. Yes. And you hate blue. <laughs> because I hate blue, because blue is stupid. Th these are all planar chaos, okay? When they, you, when they chaos you, shifted cards. I get that, but you <laughs> love the white cards that do blue card things. Yes, because everybody hates on white and doesn't give a good card draw or anything like that. So, But you're hating on the other colors and loving when your color does those things. Yes, because no other color has angels. Oh. <laughs> Black and red have angels. 
Uh, red, uh, red. There's like what, like three. Wade, you're right. JB Loki is a blue player. I am not. Stop it. He <laughs> is. <laughs> He's right. Yeah, but there's no blue in that deck. I don't play Bant. There is blue in that deck. It's in the Boggle. But it's not in the land base. It's base, in sir. the Boggle. It's not in that land base. It's in sir. the Boggle. Sir. I don't count it. It doesn't it count. Counts. It doesn't count. It counts for color identity. So anyway, another another <laughs> card that I hate uh, that's getting reprinted. At least thank God it's uh, up to Mythic. Are you about to say restore balance? Is yes, restore balance. <laughs> this card is stupid <laughs> AF. I I love this card. It Do you want to read it then? Because I don't want to read, read it, it because I'm having PTSD moments here. <laughs> it's fun. So you pay one white and you suspend for six. So for the newer players, the way suspend works is you put on suspend counters. Essentially, it's you have X number of turns. So in this case, six turns before you can cast, before this spell gets cast. And that's how suspend works. Each player chooses a number of land cards they control equal to the number of lands controlled by the player who controls the fewest, then sacrifices the rest. Players sacrifice creatures and discard cards the same way. Essentially, this card does exactly what the title of the card is. It restores balance, which I am super surprised you hate this card. It is stupid because... They play it in decks like As Foretold and other ways of casting it for free without suspending it. It's like, hey, I'm just going to cast this shit for free here because I'm a dick and I play Degenerate Magic. It is a one mana cost card. No, it's not. Not when they're paying. It does not have a mana cost, sir. Therefore, they play it for free. And that is such bullshit. (laughs) (laughs) Nothing should be free in Magic. Watsi has never learned from this. I am looking at this. To... Do the suspend. Yeah, yes. Oh, yeah, to do the suspend, but the card itself has no <laughs> mana cost, sir. Suspend is an ability. It is in the text box. It is not in the actual... I feel... Where the mana cost is. I feel that you're arguing beside the point here. The card is awesome. It is not. Yes, do not it play is. this. You will lose friends if you play this. You'll just lose Boggles as a friend. Which, actually, that is a sad thing. So that's why you play uh, Shadow Shadow Spear. No, do not play Shadow Spear. <laughs> Don't listen to him. Uh, oh, look, more slivers. Yeah, more slivers to deal with. Um, Shadow Shadow is another cool thing. I think that's that's coming back in this. Yeah, why don't you tell them about Shadow? Okay, so the first instance of Shadow we have here is with Temporal Isolation. It is a one and a white for an enchantment aura with Flash. So you can cast it at instant speed. Uh, you enchant a creature. Enchanted creature has shadow. It can block or be blocked only by creatures with shadow. So that can make a difference. And you also prevent all damage that would be dealt by enchanted creature. So essentially, you, th- you throw this on somebody else's creature, and it makes it so that way it can't deal damage to you. Mm-hmm. But it can swing, it can swing un, unblocked, all it wants. But it can't block things that don't have shadow. So, mm-hmm. so it's a way to break through the line. Um, you know, if that's the only one that's untapped, and you're worried about it blocking your creature, well, well just I mean, throw the, that on. This could go nice with like some of those cards that need an attack trigger, but you don't. It's a small one, one, right? Or one, that two. too. Yeah, you can double up on your. Your abilities. Now, should we should we leave this card in blue for Matt to talk about? I know he loves this card, or should we just do this? That way it's done and over with. Oh, the one that got upshifted to Mythic? Yeah. Yeah, just tear the band-aid off. All right, so the next one we're going to be talking about here is Ancestral Visions. It's the same mechanic that suspends, so you pay one blue and suspend it for four turns. And... When it gets cast, target player draws three cards. So you get to pick who draws, but if you're a smart player, and more often than not, you pick yourself. Right. Yeah, you're not going to give anybody else cards. Well, there are certain decks that run run this kind of a card that make you want your opponent to draw the cards. So like that, Feldegriff. Yeah. Group hug. Group <laughs> hug or, you know, some kind of mill deck, anything like that. I don't know. It's a It's a nice card. It's, you know, yep. 
you gotta wait four turns for it, but it, you pay one. Unless you you're Matt three. and you play your ads for told bullshit and you're casting this thing for free. Hey, I think it's a good because thing. once again it has no mana cost. Oh, stop with your degeneration. It is. It's degenerate magic. It's ruining the the <laughs> game. No, wait. Matt didn't die. He had to go take care of something real quick. So it's just JB and Big G here. Right. Hey, then we got Pickle Monster here. What? What? Are, oh, Brian, Brian Elemental. Elemental. <laughs> like, what are you talking yeah, about? Pickle Monster. <laughs> <laughs> well, you brought up the Pickle Monster. Read it for the oh, folks. Okay. So we got Brian Elemental. He's a giant pickle monster. For four blue blue, you get a five four elemental creature, and he also has morph, so you can cast it face down for three generic, and then you turn it face up for the morph cost. And in this case, the morph cost is five generic and a blue and a blue. So then, when Brian Elemental is turned face up, each opponent skips their un next untap step. Your phone was going off, so I figured you'd do that. Or at least look at that and see what was going on. Oh my god, I think it might be cookies. Are you serious? Great news, your order has left the bakery and something yummy is headed your way. Oh, Mrs. Boggles, you awesome. Right, and she just texted, it's on the way. Oh, Mrs. Boggles, you awesome. Right? Now you know why I married her. She's awesome. Well, she gives you some beautiful, beautiful little boggles too. Right? Yeah, you can't deny that. The little shitlin. Hey, so damn cute. The little boggle and the little G are going to have to have a cute off one of these days and see who can get away <laughs> with more. <laughs> right? Let's just hope that they don't use their powers combined because then oh, you and I God. are done yeah, we're for. Yeah, we're going to be SOL. Oh. oh, no, boggle. JB, I got to show you this one. So momentary off-topic break conversation for the viewers. Um, boggles and I are dads. I am a first-time dad. Boggles is a dad a few third times time. over. Yeah, third-time dad. Yep. Um, and do you send the little Boggles to daycares? Yes. Home daycare or center daycare? Uh, started as a center, and then it switched to home. Okay. Do they use any kind of, like, updating app? Like, hey, your kid ate, they slept, no. here's a picture of your kid? No. Okay, so our daycare does that. So we get pictures every now and then of, like, little, little G ads. Daycare. And look over at this one. I'm not going to show the viewers at home. <laughs> but I I saw this, and I know I saw it before my wife did. And I took a picture of, or I saved the picture to my phone, sent it to her, and I was like, um, if we didn't realize this before, our kid has, like, these beautiful baby blue eyes. Right. And in that picture, they just, the look on her face is I am I did something I shouldn't have. I am gonna use this look at dad and I am gonna get away with it. Yup. I until that picture got posted, I didn't realize how screwed I truly was having a daughter first. Right? All right, anyway. <laughs> right? So we <laughs> got on. We're we're starting to dabble into blue here. Which I know Boggle doesn't Right, but doesn't well, okay. always like. I do dabble a little bit of blue in EDH. Oh, okay. Now you admit it, you blue player. I've got a Moldrop deck. You blue. Player. And now I've got that new Fortel deck. There's a little bit of You're blue. You're probably gonna in play each. a modern blue deck here soon. No, no. Hey, you hold your horse. Okay. You degenerate blue <laughs> control playing person. Right. Um, no, it's okay. So we got, uh, I play this one in my Moldrotha deck just, just because it helps enable the graveyard, but we got Dreamscape Artist. And I guess, there we go. For one and a blue, you get a one, one human spell shaper creature. He's got an activated ability of two and a blue. You tap it, you discard a card, sacrifice a land, search your library for up to two basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield and shuffle your library. So it helps ramp you. And in Moldrotha, in my commander deck, it likes to play things out of the graveyard. I can play permanents of any uh, one of each permanent type each turn. So the discarding and the sacrificing lands is really negligible in this case, and it helps ramp me. And it's just another form of ramp. It's great. I actually really like this card. It's on its way. 
Well, I mean, if we're si- we're sitting in the blue, sorry, Matt, I I I took your your card. Yeah. We you talked about it. Do we you talked want your about chair how back? We talked about how awesome it was. Do you want your chair back? I don't know if I want to give up this power. I was scared when he was back there because he's like, I don't know how to work the two monitors. I was like, oh, dear God, we're going to lose everybody. Right? Going to crash and burn. Crash and burn. Because they were they were waiting to see what will happen. Boggles is in charge of the screen and yeah, everything. That's, that's danger right there. Right? So a uh, quick update on that. In case people are curious, my brother-in-law got bit by a dog on his way home from the gas station. Oh, he, shit. Because he rides, Ooh. he doesn't have a car. He rides his bike everywhere. Yeah. He was riding his bike. Lady was at a fire hydrant uh, a couple blocks away from his house on his way back. Oh. And she had two dogs. And he says, I'm pretty sure they're on leashes, but it was like a retractable leash and she didn't stop it in time. Oh. Rode by. Got is him. That, is that who was here when I got here? When you were here? Yeah. Big fellow? No, that's Preston. That's Preston. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've met Preston before. Probably not then. Oh, well. I introduce you. Oh, well. But I yeah. said hi. But yeah, no. Uh, yeah, so brother-in-law, <laughs> bit by a dog. Uh, I'm going to be going over there tomorrow morning. Uh, he took a before and after picture. He's going to be taking a before and after picture, and we're going to like compare and see if he needs to go to uh <laughs> doctor. <laughs> Stop distracting me, damn it. It's my job. All right. All right. Oh, I'm sorry, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the next card I want to talk about is right there. Right there. 4C. Yes. Three colorless and a blue. It's a sorcery speed. Scry four, which means you, you look at how many of her cards it tells you, and you get to put them back in whatever order you want. So on top. No, wait. No. Top sp- or bottom. Yeah, top or bottom. So you yep. don't get to change the order. You just... No, you can change the order. Yeah, you can change the order. Scrying. You Why look am at the I thinking of so- I'm thinking of you, something else. You look at the top four cards of your library in this case. You can put them uh, back on top or bottom in any order. There we go. Mm-hmm. Um, so this, and then you draw two cards. So you essentially set up what two cards you're going to draw. Um, I, I ran this in like one of the first control decks I ever played. And I think it was just a standard blue-white control deck. And this is back when Scry hadn't made its big pushback into like standard and modern so i this one just has i have like personal connections to and even honestly it still really is a good card you pay for you get to look at the next four cards you would draw and then you draw two of them and for some decks this is really good for setting things up like okay cool i want to draw these two cards first and then i've got my next play to set up my next two draws and i know what's going to happen on my end hopefully my opponent can't screw anything up for me and worse comes to worse this is four mana gets you six cards deep into your deck right yeah because you can you put or you can four, just put all yep. four on bottom if you bottom don't like them and just draw two and hope for the best exactly right? uh also with that as well this is this is a card that uh hits hits w- well with me because it was in uh do you remember the event decks back in the day in 2000 uh, 2010 era to 2013 i think is when they stopped doing that 2014 but anyways it's like it's like the challenger decks now it's just challenger decks but they put more stuff they put fetch lands in one of those they put verdant catacombs in oh, a challenger snap. deck yeah obviously it's not going to be cheap anymore so don't yeah. right? yourself 300 hundred dollar yep. deck yes but uh 4c was in uh one of those decks that i got and uh I'm like, scry four, draw two. This card is amazing. So yeah, no, it's a, and, and on top of it, in draft, this card is just a solid bonkers card to draw. Well, and let's just real quick, um, with this, the really cool thing about this remastered set versus a master set is one, all these cards from that, they, block. From that block that they wanted in there. And we're not even going to talk about the time shift cards and all this right now. Right. This set works well together. Mm-hmm. You exactly. Are, you don't have any of the ridiculousness that the master sets have. Right. Like, as much of a meme card as this is, and my buddy and I love giving our other friend crap about it. Colossal Dreadmaw. Yeah. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, four colorless, two green, six six trampling dinosaur that oh, does hell. nothing else. The Dreadmaw. It likes to eat sailboats. <laughs> 
That is that is all it does, and it got reprinted within a year, like six times. Right, it was yep. in standard for like four freaking it was, years. It was in standard. It was in re. It was in master sets. It was. I'm pretty sure it was in Modern Horizons. Right, it's just and the card just kept coming out, and so we like that for like the meme worthiness to it, but. You know, in th- that card, in those master sets, and in something like that, it's trying to fill a need for drafting. Right. Whereas the cool thing is, Wade, you're right. That will be the best secret layer in Wizards history, and I'm buying my friend six copies of it. Oh God, Colossal Dreadmall. Colossal oh, Dreadmall geez. layer. Well, they Wizards is aware of the memes that they do. They had the <laughs> April Fools one and they had the Yargle one. And that was awesome. Dude, I, Yargle's cool, okay? I, so, and I and here I'll sh- I'll find it and I'll show you guys. We're going to get a Colossal Dreadmaw secret lair. We if shot we, call here on the episode. We're going to clip this part out, <laughs> share it with the world, and that way we look smart when it actually happens even though it doesn't mean shit. I re- right? I really hope it does happen. For for all of the memeness that this has, uh, Matt, esports Twitter does have some good memes. Did you? Yeah, wait. You, we were talking about this on the Discord where they made the joke uh, about Tron players, and then they had to roll back on it because <laughs> they had to apologize. They had to apologize because people were plied back. Uh, why do you aid? Uh, why do you aid in uh, demonizing part of the player base for playing an archetype? And then Magic Esports Twitter replied, found the Tron player. <laughs> right? And then they had to apologize. Yep. Later that day, I took a screenshot. Magic oh Esports t- said, we'd like to apologize for this tweet. What was intended as a playful exchange missed the mark. There is no wrong way to enjoy Magic. This tweet is not implicant appro- The tweet is not implicate approval to shame a fellow player for their choice of deck. Their Karn fizzled. Probably. <laughs> they couldn't search their ballista. Oh, no, no. This dream cut out again. Jesus. Ah, shit, boss. Why does this happen all the time? Because your internet sucks. I upped it, man. I am at Up like... it again. Well, it probably doesn't help that we're all sitting on it. I'm not. No, oh. like this This is This is supposed to be... Uh... Well, now Wade's back, right? Stop lying to us like that, Wade. Right? Okay, so anyway, here, here we go. Can't hear now. You can hear me. What? Stop it. I can see Stop it. now the rain. Lost oh, audio, man. guys. Oh, no. I'm, I believe Mrs. Boggles, not Wade. Yeah, I believe her. Uh, She's not going to lie to us. Yeah. Rush. Crash and burn, baby. Crash and burn. I just want these damn cookies. Cookie, cookie, cookie. The Rugrats. There we go. Cookie, cookie, cookie. Hmm. 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 Hey, big bird. Well, you maybe need... we can end the stream, restart the stream, and that could probably fix it. Kermit the Frog here. It ain't, uh, it ain't easy being green. No, it's not. Hey, big bird. Yeah. Can I go smoke some crack? Okay. <laughs> hey, Kermit. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Would you like to be Amos' friend? <laughs> Elmo's word. Okay, 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 stop, stop. <laughs> Go get Elmo a beer. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's more like, Go get Elmo a big bowl of cookie. <laughs> 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 yeah, you ever seen purple crumbs? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Go. <laughs> okay. okay. What is, what is, there's another one. There's a. There's a stand-up comedian that uses uh, puppets, and it's it's Jeff more Dunham? so no, it's more so like an actual puppet show. Oh, like hand puppets, like like Sesame Street puppets. Na, 